गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न दी प्रैक्टिकल और परफॉर्म दी प्रैक्टिकल डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ ब्लड ग्रुप आई एम मीनल चौधरी वर्किंग एज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन श्रेयस इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ फार्मास्यूटिकल एजुकेशन एंड रिसर्च सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी अबाउट दी डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ ब्लड प्रेशर सो इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट द ब्लड प्रेशर सेज दैट ब्लड प्रेशर इज द फोर्स एक्सर्टेड बाई ब्लड अगेंस्ट द वॉल्स ऑफ द आर्टरीज एंड वेंस मतलब क्या कि जो भी आर्टरीज है या तो वेंस है उसमें जो प्रेशर ब्लड क्रिएट करता है उस प्रेशर को हम ब्लड प्रेशर बोलते हैं मतलब जब ब्लड फोर्सफुली फ्लो होता है तो वॉल पे जो प्रेशर अप्लाई होता है उस प्रेशर को हम ब्लड प्रेशर बोलते हैं एक्चुअली ब्लड प्रेशर इज क्रिएटेड बाई पंपिंग एक्शन ऑफ द हार्ट हार्ट कॉन्ट्रैक्ट होता है ब्लड को पंप करता है एंड while that pumping action blood pressure is created now blood pressure is measured in millimeters of mercury that is if we see the unit of the blood pressure it is mm hg hg means mercury and mm means millimeters now if we see the normal blood pressure range is 120 by 80 120 is the systolic blood pressure 80 is the diastolic blood pressure means we can say the higher number is systolic blood pressure it is the maximum प्रेशर दैट ऑकर्स विद द हार्ट कॉन्ट्रैक्ट्स जब हार्ट कॉन्ट्रैक्ट होता है तो मैक्सिमम प्रेशर जो आता है आर्टरीज में या तो वेंस में इट इज नोन एज सिस्टोलिक प्रेशर एंड नॉर्मल सिस्टोलिक प्रेशर और नॉर्मल सिस्टोलिक ब्लड प्रेशर इज वन एटी द लोअर नंबर इज द डायस्टोलिक ब्लड प्रेशर द प्रेशर क्रिएटेड वेन द हार्ट इज रिलैक्सड बिटवीन दी कॉन्ट्रैक्शन बिटवीन दी कॉन्ट्रैक्शन जब हार्ट रिलैक्स होता है रिलैक्स होने के टाइम पे जो प्रेशर क्रिएट होता है उसे हम डायस्टोलिक ब्लड प्रेशर कहते हैं नॉर्मल डायस्टोलिक ब्लड प्रेशर इज 80 एम एम एस जी सो इफ एनी वन आस्क यू देन रेंज ऑफ नॉर्मल ब्लड प्रेशर यू विल मैंशन वन ट्वेंटी बाई एटी एम एम ऑफ एस जी वन ट्वेंटी इज द सिस्टोलिक ब्लड प्रेशर एटी इज द डायस्टोलिक ब्लड प्रेशर Now equipments which we are using to perform the practical is pigmo manometer the instrument which is used to measure the blood pressure is known as pigmo manometer pigmo manometer consists of a inflatable bag inflatable bag means when we apply the pressure with the with the help of using the rubber bulb the pressure is applied and uh, the bag which it contains get inflated then inside the bag it is having a cuff inflating bulb manometer which is used to record the blood pressure actually manometer consists of a scale range of the mercury uh, with the help of this range or we can say with the help of this reading we can measure the blood pressure and there is a wall which is attached to the bulb we can say inflating bulb uh, which is used for the deflation deflation means removing the pressure we can say then next instrument or you can say equipment used for recording the blood pressure is stethoscope you will require a chair so that a patient or person whose blood pressure is to be measured would sit properly relax on the chair and next is table or other surface to support the arm now here is the diagram of this pigmo manometer so you will see from the top that there is a mercury column manometer this mercury column manometer consists of the scale which records the pressure we can say the scale is mm and at the bottom you can see there is a mercury content within the glass tube there is a glass tube in that glass tube mercury is filled when we apply the pressure in the inflatable bag the level get rises the mercury level get rises and you are able to record the blood pressure now at the bottom you will see the inflatable bag this inflatable bag consists of a cuff then rubber tubing is there you can see here rubber tubing then next is controlled release valve which is attached to the inflation bulb okay with the help of the infla inflation bulb you are going to apply the pressure first what you will do you will close the valve 
after closing the wall you will apply the pressure so that the curve inside the curve the pressure would be generated and the mercury level will be raised when the maximum mercury level is raised up to 180 or 160 what you will do you will uh, put the stethoscope and then you will listen to the sound at that time you will release the wall which we are going to see next itself then preparation for performing the practical is for the person who is being tested he or she should wear the clothing that allows your upper arm to bear means upper arm should be open and we can say it should be properly placed then while recording the blood pressure before recording the blood pressure the person should avoid heavy exercise or eating then the person should not smoke or ingest caffeine for at least 30 to 60 minutes before being tested and the last preparation is sit quietly for several minutes before the test begin before the test begin for five minutes you can uh, sit relax quietly calm so that you would be uh, relaxed feel relaxed and the blood pressure would be normal or we will get the exact blood pressure we can say that next is the procedure for procedure what you have to do to begin the blood pressure measurement, use properly sized blood pressure cuff. Means that cuff should be proper according to person whose blood pressure is to be recorded. Means the length of the cuff bladder should be at least equal to 80% of circumference of the upper arm. Every individual person is having his uh, circumferences different. Now wrap the cuff around the upper arm with the cuff's lower edge. Lightly press the stethoscope bell over your brachial artery which is present in the upper arm. Just below the cuff edge you have to press the stethoscope bell. Then rapidly inflate the cuff with the help of the uh, rubber bulb you have to apply the pressure so that the mercury level would get rise up to 180 mm hg now we have seen the wall so with the help of this wall which is attached to the rubber bulb you have to release the air from the cuff at moderate rate means slowly you have to remove the pressure or air then listen with the stethoscope and simultaneously observe this pigmo manometer while you are releasing the pressure you at certain point you will heard certain kind of knocking sound when you heard the knocking sound it is your systolic pressure means it is the person's systolic pressure when the knocking sound disappears it is the diastolic pressure you have to remember when the sound appears is the systolic pressure pressure and when the sound disappears it is the diastolic blood pressure now record the pressure in both arms while performing the practical i have uh, taken the uh, measurement of only one arm but usually you can take the pressure of both arms and note the differences also record the subject's position it may be supine standing or sitting usually supine may also be pre uh, supine may also be preferred or sitting may be preferred then which arm is used you have to note and the cuff size also you have to note cuff size is the optional one if the subject pressure is elevated elevated means if the pressure is increased measure the blood pressure two additional times means if it is showing more than 120 by 80 then you have to take the blood pressure measurement two to three times waiting a few minutes between the measurement then this is the blood pressure classification. Average the result of two sets of measurement. Means if you have taken two reading or three reading, you have to take its average. And then you have to classify the systolic blood pressure and diastolic blood pressure. Now here some categories are given and the systolic and diastolic pressure are also given. We have already studied normal is in systolic it is below 120, diastolic is below 80. 
प्री हाइपर टेंसिव कंडीशन कंसिस्ट ऑफ सिस्टोलिक प्रेशर बिटवीन वन ट्वेंटी टू वन थर्टी नाइन एम एम एस जी एंड डायस्टोलिक इज एटी टू एटी नाइन नाउ हाइपर टेंसियोनिक कंसिस्ट ऑफ टू स्टेजेस दैट इज स्टेज वन एंड स्टेज टू स्टेज वन सिस्टोलिक प्रेशर इज वन फोर्टी टू वन फिफ्टी नाइन एंड डायस्टोलिक इज नाइन्टी टू नाइन्टी नाइन इन स्टेज टू सिस्टोलिक प्रेशर इज मोर दैन वन सिक्सटी एम एम एस जी एंड डायस्टोलिक प्रेशर इज मोर दैन हंड्रेड एम एम एस जी इट इज अ क्रिटिकल कंडीशन वी कैन से सो हियर वी एंड विथ आवर इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू परफॉर्म द प्रैक्टिकल today we are going to perform the practical that is recording of blood pressure or determination of blood pressure we have already studied the theory behind the blood pressure the instrument which is used to record the blood pressure is known as sphygmo manometer so this is a sphygmo manometer which consists of the rubber ball then here is the gauge or we can say the screw for the uh, applying or on of the rubber uh, ball which in which we are going to put the pressure then this is a cuff and this is a sphygmo manometer instrument which consists of the uh, markings of the blood pressure that is of both systolic and diastolic pressure in the inner side there is a glass tube which consists of the mercury when the level of the mercury rises then it will record the uh, blood pressure and the requirement another requirement for recording the blood pressure is stethoscope so that we can hear the sound of the artery or we can say feeling of the blood which is recorded in the brachial artery present in the upper arm now what you have to do you have to put this stethoscope then the subject whose blood pressure you are going to record should speak straight with the uncrossed index then with the help of the uh, desk you can put your hand like this and now we are going to record the blood pressure on the brachial artery which is the major artery present in the upper arm now we have to put this cuff over the arm After applying it properly, now what you should do? What you should do? You should put the stethoscope in the hand or upper arm. Then you should close the rubber ball so that the pressure will get fit inside or by the level will rise. Now the rubber ball is closed. You have to press the rubber ball for applying the pressure. Major pressure you can apply is 180. Then after reaching the pressure to 180 you have to slowly 180 or 190 you have to slowly release the pressure while slowly releasing the pressure you will heard the first sound which is your systolic pressure so now i heard the first sound which is near to about 118 so systolic pressure is 118 and you have to again slowly release the pressure up till the sound will disappears when the sound will disappear it is your systolic volume so now the sound has stopped disappearing at 80 so now your cis diastolic blood pressure is 80 mm hg so we, in this practical we have observed the systolic pressure is about 118 and diastolic pressure is 18 mm of hg